I'm never gonna forget the moment when I went to my mailbox and I found this envelope from NYU. And when I opened it, I found this acceptance letter that gave me access to the PhD program in economics at NYU and offered me financial aid. Here I am, you know, coming from, you know, Italy, from, you know, a, a working class suburban background. I come to NYU and all the doors were open to me. This is where I found faculty who welcomed me and treated me like an equal. So how wonderful it is for me to give back to this faculty and come back to NYU, to the place where everything I am as a scholar, I really owe it to them. I try to not take things for granted. I think that I would characterize myself as an academic entrepreneur, constantly thinking about what do the next generation of students need? What do the next generation of faculty need? And I can't think of a better example of an entrepreneurial university than NYU, a university that constantly reinvented itself. Excellent job, good job guys. I've been coaching now for a number of years. As a coach, I am not the star athlete. The role of the coach is really to bring all of the star athletes together and then present to the world this coherent vision of a team. One last quarter of water polo, let's make it count. Come on. As a dean, my job is really to promote my faculty. It's to harness all of the energy that comes out from the great athletes who are the star faculties and then just really bring them together to move the mission of the school forward. I'm extremely excited about coming back to New York City for so many reasons. I would say number one is the possibility of going back to the mat and just you know, listen to the wonderful opera productions that happen there. I remember when I was a graduate student, always trying to you know, get in the line for you know, the cheap tickets that NYU students had access to. I still hope that, I hope that this is still the case. The second thing that I'm really looking forward to is being able to walk to Little Italy and you know, find my Italian groceries, the fresh pasta, and all the you know, wonderful ingredients of Italian cuisine, which I'm a little biased to, I must say.